Well, hello, the new. It's only me, Leonard Wells. Broadcasting as usual from the Giggle Mill here in Haslingdon, north of Manchester, in the UK. Studio B has, as resident engineer, none other than that very sweet chap, Adolf Apostrudel from Bechtus Garden in Bavaria, which is in Germany, you know. Adolf, unfortunately, was very seriously wounded during the WAR and refuses to appear in person on camera because of his dreadful war wounds, in case they frighten the children. And uh, in addition, he's also a strict disciplinarian. So he refuses me any more than 12 digital mega burgers per broadcast, which is rather measly. Uh, and that means I have to cancel every time my world famously forgettable rendition of Nessun Dorma. Just occasionally Adolf will, if coaxed, wave using a gloved hand for the same reason that as before his hand was badly injured in the WAR. So I'm going to ask him now if he's in the slightest bit interested but before I do I'll tell you I have two tales for you this afternoon quite uh, <coughs> well th that'll be 11 o'clock it's these orchards you know they don't have to keep you regular yes I have two tales for you but before the tales I would just have a word it's just possible we might catch Adolf in a good mood Adolf Adolf you there Adolf <coughs> Yes, Adolf's there, but I don't think he's in the right kind of mood. But we'll we'll just just see. What do you think about uh, a quick wave, uh, Adolf? What do you think? <coughs> no, sorry, sorry, folks. He's had a skinful today, and I think it, that makes him horsey when he's like that. So um, we'll get on with the tales. And in the first tale, there was uh, a Jewish couple, a husband and wife, Jaime and Rachel and they were sitting having a meal in this very posh restaurant when in walks the most dazzlingly good-looking blonde tall, elegant, superbly dressed and um, she walked straight over to them without, without a word not, not a by your leave and she kisses, kisses Jaime in full view of his wife and then she said see you later darling and off she goes so Rachel looks at Jaime and she said, What was all that about? Who was this? How do you know her? So Jaime says, She was my mistress. She's my mistress. Uh, many years now. So Rachel says, You know what this means. So he says, Do you listen? He said, You be careful. He said, You remember every year we go to Honolulu? You have a chauffeur-driven limousine to take you shopping. All these things you will lose if you divorce me. So, while they were still chuntering away to each other, a big tall redhead walks in. And she goes over to another table where a friend of theirs is also having lunch with his wife. And, and the same thing happens, she kisses him. So she says, uh, so Rachel says to Hammy, did you see that? She said, he said, yes. He said, that's his mistress. And she said, but yours is prettier. Thank you. In the next little ditty, which is one of those jokes about ladies who with the blonde hair, a redhead walks into a bar and sits next to a blonde sitting on one of the stools at the bar and um, they get the uh, she gets a drink and uh, on the television set set on the wall above them is the 10 o'clock news and on the news it shows a man standing on the parapet of the Empire State Building about to jump so the redhead looks at this and looks at the blonde and she said she said uh, I bet he jumps. So the blonde says, 
I bet you twenty dollars he doesn't. So unfortunately the man jumps and uh, so the blonde says I owe you twenty dollars so the the redhead looks t looked at her and she said actually she says I was being unfair because she said I'd seen that on the news earlier and I knew he jumped so I tricked you so the blonde said well I saw it as well but I didn't think he'd jump the second time thank you and good night folks <laughs>